I'm here at Hognack Golf Course to find out all the information that you need to get involved for the third annual Back to the Badge Golf Tournament. So it's our third annual Back to Badge Golf Tournament. It's uh, for first responders this year. We're partnering with the Maryland Chapter of Cops. Um, so we are providing free college for any fallen officers that were killed in the line of duty here in, uh, in Maryland this year. And we're looking for about 144 golfers to come out on Friday, October 12th. We're going to have all kinds of stuff. We have a $10,000 hole-in-one. We have a car from Preston Automotive. Uh, we're working on possibly a boat as well for another hole-in-one. We're going to have free beer on the course. We'll have mimosas and all kinds of good stuff before we kick off Bloody Mary's. Our, our friends over at Blackwater Distilling are going to provide a table out front have all the booze and that kind of good stuff. Aside from that, we have silent auction, we have 50-50, uh, we have all kinds of good stuff going on. We're still looking for sponsors. You can sponsor a hole, you can just donate to the cause if you like. We have some larger sponsors available for like our beer cart, the registration area, silent auction area, that kind of stuff. And uh, you can go to our Facebook page for Back the Badge and get all the information on that. Or you can just send us an email to contact at smokerattleandroll.com and we can shoot you whatever you need. Um, all of the sign-up sheets and everything are also on the Facebook page. But um, other than that, we're looking to raise about $50,000 this year. So we raised about thirty-five dollars last year, so we're up in the goal. And um, just hoping for a great day, praying for good weather. So we're seeing the event expand every single year. But that's not just what they're doing this year. What are you guys doing at the stores this year? Well, this year at the stores, uh, we're going to feature that any first responder and their families will eat for free. That's at the Annapolis Mall uh, Food Court, our Ken Island location, and also our Chestertown location. I'm here with Sheriff Gary Hoffman to find out what Back the Badge means to the first responders. I'll tell you, it's really important to us that the community comes out and supports us. And I know this is something we participate in with Smoke, Rattle and Roll and Backing the Badge. It means a lot to us to know that you're out there supporting us and that the community appreciates all the great hard work that law enforcement does. And who is this for? Not just you guys. Who else does this event include? This event's for everybody that wears a badge. So anytime somebody wears a badge, whether it's corrections, fire, EMS, or law enforcement, that is one organization as a whole, one big family that Smoke, Rattle, and Roll and Back the Badge supports. So you've been working with Smoke, Rattle, and Roll for three years now, and what has it been like to see this event expanded to what it has? It's amazing. I'll tell you, the outpouring and support from the community, and I'll tell you, the business Smoke, Rattle, and Roll initially uh, came out with this to actually back the badge. Uh, law enforcement was going through some hard times and some challenges three years ago, and this has morphed into something where Deputy Hogan was last year's recipient of this. And just knowing that people come out to support their first responders who every single day put their lives on the line, whether you're a firefighter, paramedic, correctional officer, dispatcher, or police officer, that these guys have your back. And it's really nice to see the community come out and back the badge. And that's why we're hoping we'll see everybody here at the golf course. This year we are partnered with uh, the Maryland Chapter of Cops, which is Concerns of Police Survivors. So like I said earlier, um, we're, we're trying to expand where the money goes this year. And as we increase how much money we're trying to raise, we're finding more outlets to put it through. So Cops um, is a charity that provides college and benefits for children of fallen officers. So this year there's actually four families that the money will be going to. Um, so we're, we're very happy to partner with them. And uh, next year we hope to expand it even more than that. You have all the information you need to back the badge. So check out their Facebook page, their email, or visit one of their stores and they'll point you in all the right directions. And grab a bite to eat too while you're there.